a lot of people have asked me what the worst gamepad I've ever used is. And yeah, I know what it is, because I own it. I keep it in a plastic bag off to the bottom of the basement somewhere to the very far back behind a bunch of boxes because I hate looking at the damn thing. It looks like a fever dream. It looks like Edgar Allan Poe drank a bunch of absinthe and took a trip to Japan, came back and sketched in his notebook what a nightmare looked like. This is the most disgusting, most craziest looking controller I've ever seen. And it was created by Philips, the same people that made the CDI. And this is just as bad as the CDI. It's called the PS2 Freaks Ninja Gamepad. And it is the most disgusting controller I've ever seen. Right from the get-go, holding this controller really sucks. At the bottom, it has two little talons that kind of dig into the palms of your hands, and if you manage to move your palms out of the way, they dig into your fingers. Now, they're not sharp enough to cut your skin, but they're pointy, and they don't really feel comfortable. And the entire controller on the rest of your hand feels kind of the same way. There's a bunch of grooves and bumps everywhere that just doesn't feel good in your hands. The thumbsticks are kind of too close together, and they have these weird shapes on them that look like dragons, and they're very slippery, so you kind of can't keep your thumbs in place. The D-pad isn't on a flat surface, and everything on it is kind of popped up and embossed, so it's really hard to put the D-pad down all the way, and when you can do that, it doesn't really feel comfortable. Then the buttons, instead of using the traditional triangle, circle, square, and X, they decided to use a bunch of Chinese calligraphy. And then the shoulder buttons are in a weird space as well. The weirdest part of the controller is that its eyes kind of glow, and those eyes are actually your select, start, and analog switch buttons. I know what you're thinking. You saw this controller and went, Oh man, that looks cool. I really want one. You don't. You don't want one of these controllers. Because if you get one, it's constantly there, staring at you with its freaking little glowing eyes. This damn thing is a freaking horrible controller to own. It sucks as a controller, and it just looks weird. I mean, yeah, I guess if you want to have something that looks like a gremlin you fed after midnight then toss battery acid on it, sure, I guess this is the controller for you. But for everybody else that wants a controller that actually works as a controller, well, this is one to stay away from. I really hate this thing, and to be totally honest, this is the one controller out of my entire collection that I would love to throw out. But I can't, because it'd probably find its way back home.